So this first drill, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the top of your swing and you're gonna actually stop. So you're gonna go up, stop, and I want you to take that lead wrist. So for a right-handed golfer, it's gonna be their left hand. I want you to feel like you curl your glove or that logo on your glove towards the back of the range. What this is gonna do is this is gonna encourage the club face to get a little bit stronger, meaning you're gonna to have to rotate your body a little bit more to hit that push draw. The second station, if you've never watched Tommy Fleetwood swing, I would suggest looking him up on YouTube because this is the Fleetwood finish. So when Tommy finishes his swing, he really only has this three quarter finish and he does it for a lot of reasons, but we're doing it for one specifically. If we pull with our arms in transition, then we're never gonna be able to get into this nice finish with the arms staying in front of the body. So this drill is designed to help you feel like the arms are less or more passive in the transition. So you're gonna hit some shots and try to get into that Fleetwood finish. If you do this correctly, your arms will naturally finish in front of you. You won't have to recoil them back. The last station, this is building on the first station, but now you're gonna hit a shot. Again, we have an alignment stick two yards in front of us, and your only goal is to get this ball to start to the right of the stick and fall back to the left. Now, it's important to note, these drills are not gonna help everybody. Make sure you go and visit your local professional because they have the tools and the knowledge to give you specific drills designed to help you hit that draw. At Game Like Training, we're passionate about how to structure training. And you have to do that with spacing, variability, and challenge. So go visit your professional, whatever drills they give you, insert them, into this station. Very important point there from Eric. Golf is specific to the individual. There's no one size fits all. So please, like Eric said, see your PGA professional, use their knowledge, expertise to understand what it is you want to change in your swing, and then use game like trainings, expertise, passion, and education to understand how. These circuits are how you change your golf swing because they induce deeper learning through spacing, variability, and challenge. A beginner golfer, you're gonna hit five balls of drill one, five balls of drill two, five balls of drill three. An intermediate golfer, three balls at station one, three balls at station two, three balls at station three. An advanced golfer, one ball at station one, one ball at station two, one ball at station three. And it would be our recommendation to never engage in this kind of practice for maybe more than 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes has passed, write down what you've been learning, what you've been feeling, what you're seeing, and then take a break, let it sink in, go again, or change up the drills, change up the practice, perhaps go and play a performance game. And if you want some performance games, check out our website, gltgolf.com, for a free download. Oh! <laughs>